Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope y'all having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformers. Yay, weekly new Transformers. Love talking about new stuff. Don't have it in hand, just like a chit-chat. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite beverage, get your popcorn, M&Ms, whatever you like, and let's talk about some new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. Well, all right, folks, up first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And it looks like DNA Designs is giving us a whole new masterpiece, Optimus Prime. Uh, so this is the MPM-12. This is a Bumblebee movie, uh, Optimus Prime. So it looks like you get new forearms, you get a new head sculpt, you get new leg extensions, and you also get the new uh, cat ears where you can fold down. Uh, so yeah, not other piece right in the middle. I don't know what that is for uh, anyways, but yeah, it looks like you make them taller. You get a new head sculpt, which is pretty cool. You get new forearms, I guess. Uh, the legs, you get a little more bend in the knee, I guess. Not much, but a little bit, you know, so it helps a lot. And you get, you know, all that stuff. So there you go. If you want a whole new, just new Optimus Prime, here you go. Get DNA Designs. This is M MPM-12 Upgrade Kits. This is a DK27. So there you go. DNA, DNA Designs is giving us a new Optimus Prime. All right, he's taller. So we got a new product inbound from Fun B Studios. This is her take on the Blasters communication chair from the 86 movie, you know, 86 minute animated movie. Uh, made a couple design modifications to help the stability, but the overall aesthetics of the design is the same as the original design. Uh, it is printed on brilliant metallic orange to best match the color of Autobot City. Uh, it will, uh, you know, design was originally adapted for a Titan Return Blaster, but will accommodate a wide range of figures. Unfortunately, the KFC transistor will not fit in there because of the lack of hip articulation, so don't try to do that. Uh, it can swivel up to completely remove, allow to vary of uh, figures to be used. It also has 5mm peg uh, holes in integrated to the design for weapon storage while you have the figure seated, which is a great touch. Uh, also, they did a purple one. If you want to do sound wave or something like that, they have a purple version too as well. Now they said this is an 80 machine hour print. Uh, please be patient when you order. And once again, this is Fun B Studios. If you want to uh, join their um, uh, Patreon, you can uh, order their stuff like that, and it's pretty cool. So there you go. This is Fun B Studios, and this is the Blaster Communication Chair, and it looks pretty sweet. I like that. Looks good. And it also looks like Fun B Studios has an Autopod trailer. It's an all-terrain Titan Master Carrier, ATTC. The rugged beast carries up to eight Titan Masters and sports a roof which opens to deploy the exit ramp. Inside, all the seats are magnetized to be easily removed or placed back and also makes interior placement and reconfiguration possible. Wow, that looks pretty cool. So if you needed a little Titan Master, a little carrier, Man, that's pretty neat. I like that. It's got some nice paint on it as well. Uh, once again, go down to the Patreon, join that one, and you can definitely order this stuff. Looks pretty cool. So they got an ATTC coming. It's an all-terrain Titan Master Carrier. Man, that's pretty sweet. Very nice. Fun B Studios. And then Shockwave Lab has SL-113. This is an upgrade kit for the Shattered Glass Megatron. And he has light up effects. Ooh. So the shoulder cannons, uh, can you put some batteries in there and it will light up nicely blue. It looks really good. Now I think I may have talked about this last time, but uh, I don't think they showed off the LED effect. But it looks really nice. I like that. That's pretty cool. I like. I wouldn't mind having this set. That looks pretty good. So there you go. SL-113. This is from Shockwave Lab. This is an upgrade kit for Shattered Glass Megatron. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for add-on kits. Let's move on to one of my favorite things, Legends. And up first, we have Magic Square MB Series Jazz. Uh, the, you know, are with the, they're also with the New Age Toys Monero. You can see that he is bigger. Uh, Magic Square usually is a little uh, taller than what the New Age one is. This looks pretty good. You have the option of having the doors down or out if you want. That's pretty cool. Um, the uh, bot mode looks good. Except for the side version, there is a lot of empty space underneath the chest. Uh, so that is kind of, you know, unsightly. But other than that, looking straight at it, it looks pretty good. The uh, alt mode looks really nice. I like that. You know, it's jazz. Uh, it looks like it's coming with uh, some nice accessories, some weapons. You know, you got the shoulder cannon. So you get a lot more stuff than what the New Age one is. Now, New Age is, you know, a little older. Uh, more likely, they may put out a new one. Who knows? Just to uh, try to piss them off. But it looks pretty good. I'm excited for this. I really wish they already put their, uh, put their prowl out. I'm looking forward to him as well. But there you go. This is Jazz. Looks pretty good. Great articulation. And I can't wait to see some color prototypes as well. So there you go. That is Magic Square MS-B Series Jazz. This is their test shots. 
And also from Magic Square, it looks like they showed us some new picks of their Constructicons. So they've got the two new ones coming out. It's going to be the ARM ones. Uh, they showed some, you know, some production picks, you know, of the, uh, looks like Bone Crusher. And uh, so it looks like they're moving forward. Uh, so they, you know, they wanted to apologize. You know, they've taken a little break or something like that, but they're back on it and they're going to get all this stuff out. So we're going to get the next two uh, versions of their Constructicons. And I can't wait. I just got the first two in. I'm going to do a review of those and I'm looking forward to uh, finish off this uh, Devastator. And I can't wait to do uh, comparisons with the uh, New Age one. So there you go. Got a new update from Magic Square Toys on their Constructicons. And come on now, let's get my collection. Can't wait. And then we got Kang Toys, and they have their new Legends Die Bomb. We've already seen these guys, but it looks like this is the final prototype they're going to put out, because they think it's coming out soon. Uh, he is up for pre-order, and they said, uh, although this is our first time to dabble in the small proportions, the overall quality is very high. So that's great. This looks good. I love the wingspan on this little fella. I can't wait. I want to finish off the MP one, but... Hey, I'm, I'm happy for Legends, and I can't wait for this. So this is their Dive Bomb, and this is Kane Toys. Their Predacons are going to form Predaking, which is awesome. We'll finally get a, a Legend scale Predaking. That's going to be awesome. So there you go, Kane Toys. All right. And then next, I thought I was done with the Seekers for Iron Factory, but they're putting out another one. My gosh, this is IF-EX20P Phantom Scope Tire Wings. This is their, I'm probably going to screw this name up, Nacelli or Nacelli or Nacala. I don't know, Nacelli. I probably said it wrong. Someone's going to, you know, correct me in the uh, comments. But looks good. I love the red, white, and blue America. And my God, another Seeker. I think they have like at least 15. I don't know. I forgot. I lost count. But I love Seeker, so I'm definitely going to get this. Looks really good. And there you go. I'm Factory IF-EX20P. This is Phantoscope, and this is Nakeli, Nakali, ah, oh, golly. Oh, it looks good. I can't wait. So it looks like somebody is knocking off the Magic Square Stunticons. BW Mode Play World, never heard of these people. Um, so they got their, you know, the uh, oversized, so they're going to be bigger than Magic Square, so they're probably going to be close to uh, Chug Deluxe Scale, maybe? I don't know for sure. Don't really care much for knockoffs. But if this is your thing, you want a bigger size of the uh, Magic Square Stunticons, which are still a great set, here you go. This is BW Mode Play World, and uh, they're putting out some uh, bigger Stunticons. I think they're 11.6 centimeters tall, so there you go. Yeah, if you like that kind of thing. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for Legends news. Let's move on to MP third party news. And Mega Tank has new painted test shots, images, and working on refinement and release soon. This looks pretty good. I love that freaking sword. It looks so good. Um, they show his face in some of the shots, and then they don't show his face in other shots. Kind of weird. I love the tank mode. looks really good. It does show some comparison pics with the Toy World Optimus Prime and Wei Jing and everything. So he's a big fella. He's a big boy and everything. I think he's on pre-order at some other places. You know, Chosen Prime, some other places. Uh, but this looks pretty good. I like it. Like I said, I love that sword. It looks really nice. So there you go. New images from Mega Tank. This is their painted test shot of their Megatron. And it looks freaking awesome. Then up next we have PPL Toys. They're making a model kit. Now they did show Optimus Prime. Now they're doing a Starscream. That's awesome. I love a new Starscream. So if you like model kits, you know, definitely look into this. Um, he gets, you know, the coordination set. So you can have regular Starscream and you got the King Starscream. Uh, he comes with an Optimus Prime head. You know, that one scene where he, they uh, disguise themselves as Autobots. You have that option. He does come with a Megatron gun as always. So looks pretty cool. Definitely in for this one if, uh, if I can find it. And this is a model kit. This is PPL Toys. And they're making Starscream and Optimus Prime. Pretty cool. And then we got new images from Cyber Factory CF-01 Starstorm. This is their star screen from the Bumblebee movie. And I can't wait. I just paid off my uh, pre-order. So hopefully he'll be hitting the store soon. So I can't wait to get this guy. He looks really nice. I love that stand. I like you can display in alt mode. That's pretty freaking awesome. But bot mode, wow. I'm really, really looking forward to this guy. Love me some new star screens and can't wait for this one. So once again, uh, pre-order, I did just pay the pre-order, so he should be hitting the store soon. Can't wait. This is Cyber Factory CF-01. This is their Star Storm. This is Bumblebee Star Screen. Mmm, looks freaking good. And then moving on to Alien Attack Dark of the Moon Megatron. And my god, look at the paint on this. The sculpt work and detail is spectacular. Like I said, you may not like the you know the character, but my God, they did a great job. 
and this thing transforms look at the rust on this thing it looks so dirty and just grimy oh i can't wait to get this in my collection he's got the potato sack over his head and everything looks really good but yeah the truck mode looks awesome as well wow this thing looks spectacular it looks like it has light up eyes so it might have some uh you know leds going on in there but man look at the freaking paint job on this thing golly spectacular so there you go alien attack dark of the moon megatron I can't wait to get this thing in my collection. It looks great. Man, hit me up in the comments. Tell me what y'all think about this thing. And also from Alien Tac, we got Hound as well. So we got some new prototype pics of him. And man, he's a beefy fella. Just like he was in the movie. I like that. He's got the bullet cigar with him as well. And it looks pretty good. Uh, nicely, you know, details. A lot of scope work going on right there. Uh, no prototype, you know, uh, color prototypes yet. But hopefully soon we'll see that. But looks really good. Like the details. Nice bullets, you know, missiles on the arms and stuff. Looks really good. So really nicely detailed. I like that. So there you go. Alien Attack is also giving us Hound. Then it looks like Banana Force is teasing us again with another Optimus Prime. Uh, this one might be a Nemesis. It has a, a you know, it looks like it has a nice axe going with it. You got two head sculpts and it looks like maybe the lower leg. Uh, so there you go. They're teasing us with another Optimus Prime. It might be a Nemesis or something else. I don't know for sure. But they already did a black and gold one. I guess that could be considered a Nemesis. But I don't know. We'll see. So this is a Banana Force LTD and another Optimus Prime is coming. And it looks like x Transbots is at again. Man, they got some new renders. Uh, they're taking the place of fans' toys and giving us all this stuff, but don't know for sure if it's going to be coming out. But we have MX-V. This is Dante. We have Inferno, and we have a bunch of recolors as well. Kind of, I don't know, kind of weird to put this out. You know, the MP Inferno is really good, especially with the ladder, you know, disappearing in the back and everything. But, hey, if you missed out on Inferno from, uh, you know, Masterpiece and other ones like MMC and all other ones, Here's your chance to get x Transbots Dante. This is their Inferno. Looks pretty good. Got a long and strong. About to get a friction on ladder. So this is Dante. This is their Inferno. Then we got Tyrador. Tyrador. I guess this is Shooter. Uh, this is their Art Fire. And he comes with a Target Master. That's pretty cool. Uh, once again, these are render picks. You know, they can make these look really good and everything. Uh, but this is their Art Fire. This is their Shooter. Looks pretty good so far. And then they have Da Vinci. And this is their Grapel or Grapple. Once again, looks pretty good. I wish they would, you know, they were doing really good by giving us stuff filling in holes, you know, with uh, Omnibots and, you know, and Punch Counter Punch. But now they're giving us stuff that we already have, and it's just kind of weird. I don't know why they're doing this, but this is their Da Vinci. This is their Grappel. And the last one they got is Caravaggio. This is their Hauler. This is the green one, which I can understand this one. I don't think we, not a whole lot of these. I think there might be a couple out there of this one. Uh, but this is, once again, their hauler. This is the green version. Um, he was in that one episode for a little bit. But there you go. Caravago. There you go. That's the green one. <laughs> well, all right, folks. That's how we have for MP third party news. Let's move on to official. And it looks like the crossover Dracula, uh, which is a mashup of Transformers and, you know, some horror movie stuff. We got Dracula. And this was uh, shown, and it already has been found in Canada. Man, that's awesome. So this was found in Quebec. It was for $69.99 Canadian, uh, so about $55 uh, for a U.S. Uh, have a closer look at the, uh, you know, the Sinister Titan Returns Mind Wipe remold. There's no Headmaster gimmick. You got the VHS style tape uh, packaging, which I really like. I think that's really good. And you get the black cape also that comes with it. I think this looks really good. The gun with him is kind of weird. You know, it is Dracula, but it is a Transformer. So I, I like this. It looks really nice. The bot mode looks good. The alt mode looks really good. Like I said, I love the packaging. I can't wait. I had this on uh, pre-order. So hopefully it'll be soon that we get it. But it is through Pulse, so, you know, it takes forever. But this is a nice little mashup of uh, Dracula and uh, Transformers. So there you go. In, uh, found in-hand images of Dracula. Looks nice. And they also have Generation Selects War for Cybertron Leader Galvatron out in Hong Kong. Now this is the uh, recolor. It's going to be the toy version. So he is out in Hong Kong. That is awesome. Can't wait to get this one. This is uh, Generation Selects Leader Galvatron. All right. He's out in Hong Kong. So it looks like Studio Series Wave 13 is out in the U.S. All right. So we got Jolt uh, from Revenge of the Falling. We also have Gnaw 
from the 86 movie line and we also have the sweep is coming out too as well a lot of people have found them actually they found them in arkansas too so i'm hoping soon uh, my walmart will get these so i'm very excited they got the studio series way 13 deluxes are out in u.s retail that is freaking awesome and then we got some rescue bot news all right rescue bots academy bumblebee three pack found in u.s retail uh, the three pack consists of redecos of previous rescue bots sports car vtol jet and off-road bumblebee toys in gray and yellow stealth deco all right it found it was found in ross and it retails for about 19.99 so if you like the rescue bots and you want some more Bumblebee, here you go. They got you covered. And in TFCon news, which I can't wait, we're about a little over a month, we got Andrew Griffin. He's going to be a special guest there on October 22nd to the 24th. He's a comic artist on the Transformers Lost Light, All Hell Megatron, great one, Unicron, R.I.D., and more. So if you want to get a chance to meet Andrew Griffith and get maybe something signed or maybe drawn, here's your chance, man. Go to TFCon. Can't wait to, can't wait to see everybody. All right. And it looks like the Magic Squad official magic show featuring Hasbro properties. So they're going to have Transformers, G.I. Joe, My Little Pony, and Monopoly. So it features a cast of young magicians. The show off a feature of over 30 different illusions within a 90 minute runtime. Uh, the show is primarily targeted towards little kids and the magicians will also teach them how to perform simple magic tricks. The package will also include a bunch of tricks to take home. So there you go. If you like magic and you like Transformers, G.I. Joe, or My Little Pony, here you go. The Magic Squad has you covered. And we got some more in-hand images. Who doesn't love that? So Deluxe Road Ranger in-hand images. Road Ranger looks like an orange and black redeco of Kingdom Huffer mold with a new head. Uh, possibly inspired by the e-hobby exclusive Road Ranger from 2004. Uh, we have several side-by-side -side comparison shots next to the Kingdom Huffer for you to spot the differences. Uh, so far, we know this figure could be part of the new Transformer Golden Disc Collection together with Puffer, which I'm going to talk about him in a second. But there you go. New stuff from uh, Deluxe Road Ranger in hand images. And here is Deluxe Puffer, also in hand images. Uh, this one looks like a redeco of the Kingdom Pots mold we've seen before, inspired by the G1 Pots European white and, blood, uh, white and blue redeco known as Puffer. Uh, we have uh, several comparison shots also next to Pipes, a nice hom homage to one of the uh, rare G1 variants. Uh, Puffer figure should be a part of the new Transformer Kingdom Golden Disc Collection as well. So there you go, new in images of Puffer, and we got Road Ranger. And we also got Kingdom Wave 4 Deluxe Waspinator and Shadow Panther out in U.S. retail. All right, so these were found in Dallas, Texas. So hopefully soon we'll see these two. I'll get to get these two as well, definitely getting them. So there you go, first look at uh, Wave 4 Deluxe Waspinator and Shadow Panther. They're out in the U.S., man. Go out there and get some new Transformers. Yes. And then in statue news, Prime 1 Studio, War for Cybertron, Optimus Prime, Statue Official Gallery. Wow, this thing looks awesome. Expensive, but awesome. So the statue is planned for Prime 1 Studio Museum Master Line. Uh, it also comes with two versions, Standard and Ultimate, uh, which will each feature different parts and base. So the uh, one that says, uh, I guess this is a PMTF05. This is a statue is about 35 inches tall. Uh, War Cybertron themed battle damage base, LED uh, eyes and eye blaster. And then you got the ultimate version. It stands about 35 inches tall as well. Uh, War of Cybertron theme story uh, base featuring Shockwave, so it's a different base. Uh, eyes are in Ion Blaster and Energon effects on the base as well. Two swappable right arms. Uh, and then you got three swappable left arms. And so you get different air. So the ultimate version is going to be a little more. And you get different, you know, arms and stuff in a different base as well. This thing looks freaking awesome. I wish I could get some Prime 1 Studios. They have a star screen that looks spectacular. Uh, they don't ship to the U.S. for some reason. Uh, I checked on eBay. I may can get some off of eBay. But, man, Prime 1 Studios, if you want to collect statues, they are ones to get because they really look spectacular. Like I said, they're kind of expensive, uh, but you are going to get what you pay for. So there you go. New uh, Optimus Prime from War for Cybertron. This is Prime 1 Studios. And it also looks like Wave 14, uh, Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe was also found. It was just found in uh, Measure Store. Measure? Measure? Um, don't know what state or anything like that, but it was found in U.S. retail. And there you go. If you're waiting for the Sideswipe, there he's coming. And guess what? More in-hand images. This showed up. This is Kingdom Deluxe Slammer. Uh, Slammer is completely new deluxe mode, which is similar to the War of Cybertron Weaponizer. So he will be a weaponizer. That's cool. He can split into part and come, become weapons for other figures. It transforms into a tank inspired by the G1 Metroplex non-transformable companion Slammer. Uh, we also have comparison shots next to War of Cybertron figures like uh, the Drone and Six Gun and Warpath. So there you go. 
new hand images. So hopefully he'll be hitting stores soon. There you go, Deluxe Slammer. Man, tons of in-hand images. All right, and the last bit of news we have, Haslev Victory Saber Tier 2 revealed, and it's a stand. Wow. <laughs> I read some stuff on Facebook. Like I said, the next one, Tier 3, is going to be a box. Tier 4 is going to be some twist ties. <laughs> that was funny. But, yeah, this articulated display uh, base for Victory Saber for Robot and Alt Bold. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, from the images, the stand will be unlocked once the campaign reaches 17,000 backers. Uh, so don't miss your chance to back this up. I've already backed it, so that's cool. I don't know if it's going to make it or not. Hopefully it does. Uh, but at the moment, it looks like it's at 7,800 backers right now. Uh, so they need a goal of at least 11,000. I'm sorry, yeah, so to even get the figure itself. So if it gets to 17,000, we get a stand. All right, what do y'all think about that? That's just funny. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for dudes this week. And, man, we got a lot of jam-packed good stuff coming out, man. We got Legends. We got x transports as always. We got new stuff, in-hand images of a lot of stuff, new stuff out in retail. So hit me up with some likes, share prayers, and care bears. Go on there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments, too. Tell me what you're excited about. You're excited for any of this stuff. I know you're ready for that rescue bot, Bumblebee. I know you are. Come on now. Yeah, definitely would love to hear from y'all. So I guess I'll see you in the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro. And good night, folks.